time in three days, the Illinois State Redbirds and the Louisville Cardinals flock to Patterson Stadium. Today decides who flies on to the Super Regionals. There you see Nick Bennett, junior left-hander from Cincinnati, Ohio. He is going on two days rest through 93 pitches in the win over the University of Illinois Chicago on Friday. And Dan McDonald's going back with him here today to start this one. Now, Illinois State, the pride of normal Illinois, a couple of hours southwest of Chicago. They draw it up this way. John Rave will lead it off again. This lineup had only three hits last night against Louisville starter Luke Smith, and none were hit hard. Yeah, it was a really slow offensive day for a team that's been fantastic all season long. And John Rave and Joe Isles, these are their guys. So Joe Isles, who has been very good in this regional, the Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year, they're going to need some big hits out of him if they're going to stay in this ball game. can't believe it. we have been blessed with great weather during this entire regional. We've got it again. On this Monday, winner take all. Even sneak into the second round. Right? Yeah, well, the, the talent is unique. He can really run. Lifted toward the gap, left center field, long run for the center fielder Lucas Dunn, but he covers a lot of real estate, and there's one away. And blowing out the last three days. Breaking ball, ground ball could be two. To second for one, to first, double play. Corolla gets the infield hit. Bennett gets the ground ball he was looking for, and there's that emotion we talked about. How about it? The Cardinal defense, 6-4, 3 to get him off the field. Good start for Nick Bennett. To get it going, Lucas Dunn still at the leadoff spot, but after that, they move Logan Wyatt from 4 to 2. Fitzgerald stays at 3. Benellis now hitting cleanup. Snyder, who'd been hitting first or second, goes down to 5, and Benellis second among freshmen in the ACC in home runs. He will be a freshman All-American, and he played like it yesterday. Junior from Kewanee, Illinois, small town in the northwest part of that great state. The left-hander, 4-1 and one with a 4.87 ERA. And this is just his fourth start of the year, Berkey, first since April the 17th. And we saw him struggle in relief against Indiana on Friday. Yeah, it was a real struggle against Indiana, and that's not the pitcher that they've grown accustomed to seeing after the way that Louisville really put it on Illinois State yesterday. There's an inside-out swing to left. Jeremy Gaines can't make the catch. His first career start in left field, and he can't come up with that sinking liner from Logan Wyatt. I talked about the lineup not changing much over the last couple of months. Fulton Johnson trying to work around trouble here in the first. And he may have done it, but this is going to be a tough play for Huggins. The shortstop, and he won't have a play. A run scores, and Louisville breaks out in front here in the inning. If you're going to beat Louisville in their own building, you better play good defense. Jeremy Gaines already missed a fly ball and left, and now Aiden Huggins on a ball that really jammed up Jake Snyder. you got to know as an infielder, when the hitter gets jammed, they're not going to get out of the box as well. See how long it took Snyder to get out of the box? And Huggins decides to barehand a ball that's rolling pretty fast where a hitter got jammed. It can really be tough for hitters to hit it out. Went down, chased it. That's a strikeout for Johnson to get out of the inning with only one run across. And up on the bridge there, free Mike flies. Swung out and missed. Joe Isles is going to be a strikeout victim of Nick Bennett here in the second inning. So he has faced the minimum so far as he starts work here in the second inning. He's a tough play from any outfielder, much less one that hasn't been out there much. Another big time inning from Nick Bennett going on just two days rest. No problem. An inning and a half, one nothing. Storybook career and it shaping up for a storybook ending. Drew Campbell trying to bunt his way on here to start the second inning for the Cardinals. Not going to happen. Nick Zoris throws a seed to the first baseman Jack Butler. Saturday and the first game yesterday for Louisville, but they're going back to their veteran. It's going to be another strikeout for Colton Johnson. That's what Steve Holm likes to see. That's a 1-2-3 inning. Vanderbilt at Vanderbilt, the number four non-conference strength of schedule. And then, obviously, regular season champions in a really good Missouri Valley League. Fitzgerald has...
played a sharp shortstop so far. He started a double play. Each inning, he's fielded a ground ball. There's one down, and Butler comes up. Here's Brian Hoeing. On in relief of Nick Bennett. You said it, Berkey. You didn't think Bennett was going to go very long, and, and Dan McDonald brings in Hoeing to start the third. Seven. You certainly like their spot. The pitching just never stops with UCLA. And Dunn goes down swinging for the second time. 2-2. Two -two. Down and missed. A couple of strikeouts in the inning for Colton Johnson. He has retired seven in a row. It's just to keep playing as long as you can. All right, Dan, thank you very much. Okay, thanks, guys. Dan McDonald. And Brian Hoeing is going to walk the leadoff man. Derek Parola to start the fourth inning. In time, ground out to short back in the second. He's going to send a soft liner over the second baseman's head. Parola being waved around, and he's going to score easily. And we're tied up at one here in the fourth. Joe Butler delivering an RBI single to tie the game. Now the walk comes back to bite him as leadoff walks so often do. Just kind of an end of the bat cue ball. And Justin Levy, watch him. He, he just didn't know which way to turn. He, he started to turn and run. Then he backpedaled. And I think if he would have stuck with his initial read. 2-2 two -two count. And he strikes out again. But Illinois State is on the board. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Matt Walker had against him. A couple days ago. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Let's get those numbers now and show you the splits. It seems to be finding a comfort zone again. Oh, he looks good. Struck him out. One, two, three, clean fifth for Hoeing. Brian Hoeing, folks, just throwing lasers. Three hits in the regional. He bunts. Also well placed. Great job by Johnson to throw him out. That's called fielding your position. And now he'll face Logan Wyatt. What and he's world? trying to bunt. Butler, can he win the race? Yes! Jack Butler, the first baseman who has been stellar in this regional, makes the play to end the inning. About the defense of the Redbirds coming up in a big way. Jack Butler keeps putting on a show and he just beats Logan Wyatt to the base. At just 63. Struck him out. Gets Fitzgerald for the second straight at bat to go down swinging. A three bid league this year. Yeah, not just in it, but highly competitive. Gaines is going to have to run a long way for this one. Can he get there? No. Jake Snyder. Is sliding in with a double with two outs here in the sixth. Four for 50 in the NCAA tournament with 11 runs batted in. What a play! Butler! No way. To Butler! And the Butler did it again! Illinois State gets out of the inning. It's just unbelievable. I mean, just get it anywhere close to Jack Butler, and he's going to finish it off. Joe Butler first, though, folks. Backhand 360, rips it over there to his partner in crime, who finishes it off the Butler brothers. A lefty and a righty. Kirian. And I think it schmelts. Ground ball. Should end the inning. Gaines. Grounds to Levy. It's a clean seven for Hoeing. Just nine pitches needed. Back to the backstop. Zoris has to chase. It's going to be a wild pitch, obviously, and Colton Johnson, who has not had to pitch with runners on base very often here today. He feels like he has it. He should take it. Breaking ball, line drive, base hit. Leonard scores. And the Cardinals go in front 2-1 to one here in the seventh. Zach Britton with an RBI pinch hit that gives Louisville the lead.
Boy, you, you just got to give Sam McDonald a lot of credit. He puts a left-handed pinch hitter after subbing for his catcher to put in a pinch runner. A hanging breaking ball dumped into right field. And the, the Cards fans rose to their feet, and Zach Britton, Britton gave them something to cheer about. What a moment for that young man as he delivers in a huge situation. Illinois State has just two hits in this ballgame, and none since the fourth inning. Missed it. Walked it. There's some, there's some cool spots in this yard now. We saw people on top of the roof earlier in the regional. That's going to get away from Davis. He chases. Runner goes. Got him. Henry Davis has a howitzer of an arm. And he just got Zorus trying to get that extra base. Well, that's his calling card. They get on their feet here at Patterson Stadium. Poland's pitch. Got it. The train conductor loves him. He toots the horn. Come on, Clay. You know everybody's fired up at this joint, especially the dugout losing their mind. Out there working into the mid-90s with his pitch count. Base hit. Tyler Fitzgerald starts the Louisville eighth with a single up the middle. The 1-1. One, one. Runner goes, and that's going to be a stolen base for Fitzgerald. And Snyder's hit almost 500 in his career in regional play. Runner goes again, blocked by Soros. And that's a stolen base for Tyler Fitzgerald on back-to-back -back pitches. And now I'm all fired up. I am. Down the line. Fitzgerald scores. Snyder has done it again. His fourth run batted in of this regional, and it's 3-1 Cardinals. Well, he's starting to look like he might be taking on MVP honors here this weekend. What a piece of hit here, folks. You want to talk about keeping that front shoulder in and staying on a breaking ball left on left. We have seen so many hitters fly open and look bad on this Colton Johnson breaking ball, but that is letting it travel, staying on the baseball and ripping it into the left field corner. Tyler Fitzgerald gets it going with his legs. Jake Snyder pays it off with his bat, and the Cardinals are rolling. And that's going to be it for Colton Johnson. Not the ending he was hoping for, but what an effort. And Gilmore will come in. Ten picks, maybe Alec Manoa from West Virginia. Fly ball. Backing up, Jeremy Gaines got turned around, and he hangs with it to make the catch. Wow, that was a lot tougher play for Jeremy Gaines than it probably should have been. But he gets the third out, and we go to the ninth. And it's 3-1 Louisville. We go to the ninth in a cranked up Louisville, Kentucky. The Cardinals three outs away from going back to the Super Regionals for the eighth time. A lot of juice in the building right now, Clay. Michael Kirian gets the baseball trying to bring the Cardinals to the Super Regional. The big left-hander, six foot six, 235 pounds has been one of their most trusted arms all season long. Got him. One down. He's getting the tying run. Yeah, the walk and things get much different. Through the hole, left side, base hit for Rolla. His seventh hit of the regional. Man, has he had a good week. Really has. The one-two. Breaking, breaking pitch. Could be two. 
to second for one. Not in time on the double play. Littman beat it out. And Illinois State still has a pulse. 2-0 pitch. Line drive to center. Should end the game. No! Trey Leonard misplays it. Lippman coming around. He's going to score. And Isles is at third base. An error in center field. And it's a one-run ball game. Wow. Trey Leonard, who came on as a pinch runner, gets hit what looked like kind of a knuckleball. And you see he puts the brakes on because he thought he had it, and the ball just nosedives right at his feet. And the Cardinals go from celebrating to the tying run just 90 feet away. Ready to go on a pass ball, trying to tie this game. The 0 one pitch. Line drive! Base hit, and we're tied. Illinois State has scored two here in the ninth, and we're even at three. Second run batted in for Joe Butler. And Trey Leonard can't believe it. Unbelievable at bat right there. Back-to-back -back breaking balls, and Joe Butler inside outs one right over the head of Justin Levy. That's the second time he's done that in this game, Clay. He had yeah. the first RBI base hit right over the head of Levy as well. And the Redbirds aren't done. Sometimes all you got to do is distract the pitcher just a little bit. Yeah. Struck him out. Inning is over, but the damage done. Two runs for Illinois State. Can Louisville win it in the bottom of the ninth. An error in center field. A big, costly mistake for the Cardinals. And the Louisville second baseman draws the leadoff walk here in the ninth. And Leonard, who made that fielding gap in center field moments ago, will get a chance to redeem himself. Without any momentum. Good butt. Butler's going to go to second. Second base umpire Jeff Macias calls him out, and I'm sure we're going to go to the headset. Uh, Joe Butler, though, I just love to see guys go for it. Everybody just picks it up and throws it to first base. Joe Butler went for it. How about the job by Leonard, who, you know, his heart is in his stomach yeah, after what happened down. last night. He yeah. got that bunt down. Yeah, he did. And it appears... You know, based on what we're seeing here, that this is going to be overturned, and there's going to be two on, nobody out, yep. game-winning run in scoring position. It's safe. It's overturned. Justin Levy safe at second. He's in scoring position, and Davis up next. Well, that's the first one he really looked like he got a good look at. The one-two. Ground ball. Chopped to Butler. He bobbles it. But they still get the out at the plate. Joe Butler has been so good defensively. And he almost had an error there at third base, but he recovers in time to get the force. The poise. The poise. It's so easy to panic right here. Look at his bare hand and throws a strike. What a play by Joe Butler. Strike to Nick Zoris to keep this game tied. And now the freshman All-American gets a chance to put his stamp on this ball game. Alex Benellis back up the middle, base hit, and Louisville is going to the Super Regionals. The freshman from Wisconsin getting it done for the Cardinals in the bottom of the ninth. What a ball game. What a regional. Louisville, for the eighth time in program history, is going to the Super Regionals, and they will be here next week against either ECU or Campbell. And sheer happiness. 
Yeah, so what a scene. You get the Louisville kids celebrating, the Illinois State kids are hugging. And two teams that left it all on the line in this one. The Cardinals just made one more play at the end, but man, give it up for the Redbirds. What an effort by those kids all weekend long. And they certainly played like champions. They sure do. The Cardinals just made one more play. Alex Benellis with his 57th run batted in of the year, and it's going to send him to the Super Regionals. He swung at the first pitch from Mitch Bogren and took it right back up the box. We had seen nothing but breaking balls from Bogren at that till that point. He throws a first pitch breaking ball to Benellis, who's sitting on it. The Cardinals are celebrating. The Redbirds are devastated, and that's the nature of sports. Elation and devastation all at the same time, depending on what side of the field you're on. What an end to this ball game. And you know Trey Leonard's fired up. And how about a moment for the freshman All-American, the walk-off winner to send the Cardinals to the Super Regional.